Willkommen zu einem weiteren Part von Let's Play Tales of Testeria. Wir sind hier in irgendwelchen Untergrundruinen. Ja, halt wieder irgendwelche Informationen, die mich sowieso nicht interessieren. Und jo. Im letzten Part haben wir es bisher geschafft. Und jetzt müssen wir uns mit Leila durchkämpfen. Mir klar, haben wir abgeworfen, teilweise. Okay. Ja. Wer will das nicht? Von euch will auch jeder im Dunkeln sehen können, oder? Wer es auch gerne können möchte, schreibt es in die Kommentare. Und ja, wir rutschen. Aber wir müssen uns umkommen, wenn wir runterrutschen, weil anscheinend können wir da nicht mehr hoch. Schildkröte sagt, Herrenspazier, wir kommen im Reich von Finster Turtles. Wir nehmen alle Befehle entgegen, in der Zeit von allem, wenn wir dadurch etwas Kohle kriegen. Die von Spielern sind wie im Reich von Finster Turtles. Wow, sorry, wird damit noch stärker. Wir könnten Sorys Angriffskraft eigentlich jetzt erhöhen. Ah, wirklich. Hinten, wenn... Okay. Und bei ihr... Moment. Ah. Mega, jetzt. Wir machen einfach weiter, wie bisher. Eben uns hier mit nochmal abquälen, mit diesen ganzen Einstellungen. Da ist doch was. Leute, da ist doch wirklich was. Ein Boss. Bestimmt, ein Boss. ist das? Das ist irgendwas. Doch was ist das? Ich gehe langsam hin. Klar erfahren wir, was das ist. Check it out! That sword is ginormous! This is an altar to the Sacred Blade. It was constructed in the era of Asgard. Lila, do you know about this? Lila? This is where I formed the pact with the previous shepherd. Really? But then, why couldn't you tell us before? You and Miklio looked like you were both having so much fun. I didn't want to go and sour your explorer's spirit by spoiling the end. And on top of that, I kept silent for your sake. For my sake? I want you to understand, you must not feel obligated to bear the world's burden on your shoulders alone. Huh? So, how does it feel having reached these ruins? You don't feel as excited as you imagined you might be, right? By any chance, do you know why this is? Um, I... well... 
You do not wish for your friends to share the burden of your duty. Is that correct? I guess I'm really that transparent, aren't I? This is a problem that always arises between the Shepherd and their Seraphim friends, no matter the era. Saray, you must understand how Miklio feels, do you not? Yeah. Very well. There is nothing left for me to tell you. Thank you, Lila. And now, allow me to show you the real reason I brought you all the way here. I want to bestow this onto you. A jewel? They are called iris gems in the world of humans. But they are originally known as the Earthen Historia. Iris gems. Earthen Historia. So, can you see anything? Huh? Like what? The object you are holding allows those with resonance, that is, the ability to sense Seraphim, to see the memories that are contained within. They should serve you well as guideposts in your search for the Lord of Calamity. Hmm? But I can't see anything. You can't? Hmm, that certainly is odd. Saray? Let's head back. There's nothing more we can find out. But... Hey, we can come back anytime we need to. Indeed. And with Miklio, of course. Okay. Verstehe. Gibt's hier sonst noch was? Ah. Das heißt nicht. The altar of the sacred blade. So this is where shepherds in the past made their packs. Yes, though this occurred long, long ago. Is the symbol of the shepherd a sword? No. Why do you think so? I saw a mural once depicting the ancient hero raising up a sword in the ruins in Elysia. And heck, you were lurking in the sword this whole time, waiting for the shepherd. <laughs> well, not all shepherds wielded a sword in battle. The shepherd's sword is like a manifestation of the people's hopes to cut through calamity and malevolence and open a path to a brighter future. A symbol of hope. And this sword... Your sword does look a bit strange. It's probably a ceremonial sword. I found it in the ruins. So that's why there isn't a blade. It's just for self-defense. It's useful for, like, training with Miklia. I see. A sword that does not cause unnecessary pain. Though I don't know how easy it'll be to cut a path to the future with this. Saray, this sword is merely a representation. What you do with it, what you slay with it, to understand the truth behind it all is the key. Got it. I'll search for the answer. Gut, damit hätten wir das auch geklärt und können weitergehen. Doch wie kommen wir wieder raus? So then, is this sealed as well? From the inside? This is an altar created in order to bring forth shepherds. It does not open unless one can wield the flames of purification. Wait a minute. Doesn't that mean anyone who failed to become a shepherd could never get out of here? Indeed, it is a relic of a much crueler era. I see. You have already been bound to me and are quickly becoming accustomed to my power. I expect you should be able to wield the flames of purification by now. So, all I have to do then is light this torch? Yes, but be wary. Those who could not become shepherds may have perished here, but their emotions linger on. This malevolence hangs here like a miasma. Meaning that hellions are lurking about, right? Exactly. Proceed with caution. Okay.
Okay. Interessant. Das können wir also jetzt auch. Okay. Hier gibt's da was. Moment, den töte ich. Na. Perfekt. Okay. Wir hatten wirklich ein paar Items. Geil. Was gibt's hier so alles? Da ist doch was. Na, was haben wir denn da? Na komm. Ja, yeah, wir räumen hier echt auf. Das ist geil. Soft Eyes. Doch die Gegner. Ich habe so viele von ihnen. Ich habe keine Idee. Do you feel any different? A new power manifesting or a new sort of strength welling up inside you? Do you feel like that at all? Huh? I don't feel any different. So it really hasn't happened yet. There's too many. Is there any end to this? Saray, we have to break on through. Okay. Now come. Now what is this? No. Da, da lädt ja was auf. Was wird das? Ausweichen. I bear my true name. This is... Recite that name. Harness the power that flows from it and let it become your armor. That is the true power of the Shepherd. All right, I'll give it a try. Okay. That must be Elma! This is armatization. Wow. I can feel such incredible power. All right. Time to finish this. Oh, let's get up. Now come. Too easy. That was wonderfully done, Saray. Armatization itself is proof of one's status as a shepherd. It means you have mastered its power. Still, that was way too close for comfort. Gaining that new power right at the last second there. I'll say. I must admit even I was worried. But in the end, you did an absolutely marvelous job. Ah, shucks. Come on, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, since the Hellions are safely defeated, what do you say you go ahead and remove the armatization? How do I do that? Huh? I can't get it off. What? Is that what's supposed to happen? That's what I want to know. 
So, you can't read the Earth in Historia. You were able to unleash the power of armatization with amazing speed, and yet now you can't turn it off. Saray, you're just a total mess. The Shepherd's a mess, I guess, I guess. <laughs> Come on, Lila. Oh, there it goes. I suppose once the Armatus has been invoked, you'll just have to wait until it dissolves. I'm sure in due time you'll be able to use it at will. If you say so. Okay. Sand. Verstehe. Gut zu wissen erstmal. Demoliden will ich noch ansprechen. Warte mal, der will, der will Stress, Junge. Ich glaube nicht, dass wir jetzt schon nochmal diesen Modus gebraucht hätten. Ah, mit RT kann ich dann was machen. Interessant. Da ist doch einer. Was haben wir denn da? Mann. Komm, stirbt. Perfekt. Es läuft bei mir. Die Truhe will ich. Doch was erwartet uns hinter dieser geilen Tür? Tja, das sehen wir im nächsten Part. Ihr könnt natürlich wie einen Kommentar und eine Wertung da lassen. Wir sehen uns im nächsten Part wieder. Bis dahin. Emerald. Control.